Hi, this is Michael Neuendorf of Speak Well and Sell, here to share with you a tip on getting more out of Twitter. Whenever I teach a class on Twitter, one question that comes up every single time is, how do I decide who to follow back? Great question, because this is something that you should know in advance. Have a follow back strategy in advance before you really start using Twitter a lot. And here's why. If you don't know who to follow back, and you start trying to decide on the fly each and every day as various people start following your account, it can be a real time suck. So here's the thought process that goes into creating a follow back strategy. It's either none, some, or everyone. What I recommend is some. Here's why. Everyone is never a good idea because you're going to get spammy followers. You're going to get people promoting ideas and subjects and topics that you just have no interest in and no agreement with. And some of them are just outright spammers. So you never want to have the everyone strategy. I also think the none strategy is not a good idea because think about it. If you look at somebody's Twitter account and you see that they're following nobody, do you really want to follow them? A lot of Twitter is about give and take. I follow you, you follow me. Hopefully we will engage at some point because we like each other's content and our businesses personality, something within our profiles are complementary and interesting to each other. So that's why the none strategy typically doesn't work to create a good following on Twitter. If you're super well known, I mean if you look at Oprah's account, you'll see that she doesn't follow a lot of people and neither does Conan O'Brien. But the difference is between them and us, they have the luxury of doing that. So I recommend the sum strategy. And that's a little challenging because you're thinking, well, so I still have to decide each and every day? No, here's how it works. You follow everyone back initially, but then every so often you go into a tool called Manage Flitter. That's Manage Flitter, F as in Frank, L-I-T-T-E-R.com. Flitter rhymes with Twitter. On ManageFlitter.com, you can use their free tool to begin with and go through your Twitter followers and call out the ones that aren't tweeting, are spammy, have a huge ratio where they're not following people back, they may not be following you back. Maybe they followed you initially and then they unfollowed you and you didn't know it. So with Managed Flitter, you can go through and call out all the dead accounts that you don't want to follow. And that helps to even out the ratio of following to following back. Use that tool along with your follow back strategy and you'll find that you get a lot more out of Twitter.